One could fully optimize the components and distribution system in the air system and still not have an optimized system. The arrangement of components and equipment can make a difference. For example, what about the position of relief fans? Do I use return or exhaust? The power to remove the relief air will differ based on this fan arrangement. Return fans are traditionally used for systems with high return duct static pressure. Not only will utilizing a return fan alleviate some of the work required by the supply fan, the system will require less work from the fans. If there is not a high return duct static pressure, the return fan may still reduce the size of the supply fan. However, overall, it will require more fan power than an exhaust fan system. Care also needs to be taken using return fan systems if there is a high loss on the outside air path or exhaust path. This would be the case if the unit is located in the building where there are long duct runs to the outside air intake or exhaust outlet. This is also when there is exhaust energy recovery. Here a return fan system will often require more fan power than an exhaust fan layout. For example, here is a return fan and exhaust fan system. A unit with 10,000 CFM supply air, 4,000 CFM outside air, 6,000 CFM return air, and 3,500 CFM exhaust air. The unit has two inches of internal static pressure, one inch of supply external static pressure, 0.5 inches on EA and OA path. Which system requires more air horsepower will vary based on the return static pressure. The two differences are that in the return fan system, the relief fan is penalized as it sees more airflow, 9,500 CFM versus 3,500 CFM in this example. The other difference is the exhaust fan system supply fan is penalized as it sees more static pressure. At low return static pressure, one inch, the air horsepower removed from the supply fan by the return fan is less than the air horsepower added to the return fan. So the system requires more air horsepower from the fans to use a return fan. At higher static, three inches, the air horsepower removed from the supply fan by the return fan is more than the air horsepower added to the return. Thus, the return fan system uses less air horsepower than an exhaust fan. Depending on the percent outside air, results may differ. In this example, the cross point on air horsepower, the total power required from the fans, is approximately 1.75 inches external static pressure on the return duct. This means that 1.75 inches and above, a return fan system requires less power from the fans. This cross point will vary on fan power requirements, which depends on how efficient each fan is and the operating point on that fan. For instance, if your exhaust fan is much less efficient than the return fan, the cross point may be at one inch or one and a half inches for the system. When energy recovery is added, it adds static loss to the outdoor intake side and exhaust outlet side. It is not advantageous with respect to the required fan power to use a return fan in this setup. In this example, adding energy recovery adds one inch static loss per pass. Thus, there is one and a half inch loss from the OA intake to the return damper and a one and a half inch loss from return to exhaust. The return fan will not relieve any static pressure from the supply unless the return static is higher than one and a half inches. After this point, the extra energy added to the return fan from the energy recovery device negates any load removed from the supply until the return static pressure is greater than five inches.